Welcome back to Griffin, Indiana on Farming Simulator 22 for the last episode, episode 36, with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's April 1, and no, it's not April Fool's Day. Um, we have done all right. I've been selling all the various different things I've had to sell. We're bouncing through, and I want to bounce through because before we finish, and we are going to finish, today will be the last episode on here because we are going to, I know, we're going to be moving to Silver Run. I want to do some Silver Run episodes regardless, and I'm hoping I'll, what I'll try and do is go back to how I used to and do two at a time, so not necessarily two episodes on, on one day, but maybe alternate days, one day silver run, one day another map, one day silver run. So we'll have normal farming and the silver run stuff. For the first week or so, this is going to be quite silver run heavy because there's a lot of stuff I want to do. And what also what I want to say, for the people that are still watching, again, thank you. I haven't watched a single video, nothing that anybody has put out, anyone that's had early access to the, the Platinum expansion, I haven't watched a single video because I want to have that thing of seeing it and doing it first time out you know i'll probably say that again when i do the videos but anyway it's time to sell the acetic acid how long have we been talking about acetic acid i've been chasing a price that was never going to come and i will explain for why uh, if we go down to uh there not there there and we scroll down to our acetic acid. If you remember, the prices for the first year, if you've got something new, it kind of works out what its pricing is going to be. And for the first year, when I was doing acetic acid, it was up about a 1,000, then it started to drop. Great. Methane price is hovering. That's the same. If I click on that now, that's resetting itself again for some reason. And it looks like me getting prices up around a 1,000 for that as well. The baseline seems to be down in the 600s at the bottom of there. So this is all going to change. I've got a funny feeling. Because my way of looking at that is the acetic acid. Now, I've been chasing that with just over a 1,000 for the acetic acid. I went through the whole year, and it was going and going, and one of the lines went green all the way up to the top to just over a 1,000. And March into April was when it was going to hit that price. We went from March into April, and then it reset itself like that. The top price now is saying 885 in February, Everything else, way below. Um, so at the moment, it's 6.22. It is climbing a little bit. But here's the weird thing. That arrow, that green arrow that says the price is rising, what used to happen was if you sped up time a little bit, you could get that price up and up and up and up and up till it hit its peak and it would plateau. The little green arrow would go and you could get the best price. So what I did yesterday was thought, you know what, it's got a green arrow. 
Um, I've got no work to do. I'll speed up time and we'll see where we get to. <laughs> the green... <laughs> yeah. It was sitting on 645, I think it was. And when I sped up time, the price went down. The green arrow, price is climbing. No, nope, price came down and down and down to 622. <laughs> so I'm not... Not sure what's going on with the pricing. So I've just decided, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna do it. While I'm up here, while I feed the cows. I have made a load more total mix ration and stored it in my silo over there at the top farm. That's that done. Water we're right for. Milk, I think I've just topped up. So what I'm gonna do, like I said in the last episode, I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm just gonna sell milk. I'm not, I'm not going to make anything with it. We're just going to sell the milk. Like the old days. Do you remember back in the old days? Do you remember back on FS15 when you couldn't even sell milk? You could produce it and at midnight it would just go. You, you would just get paid for it. You couldn't transport it on FS15. So, yeah, we're going kind of old school but not fully old school. Actually, that's the point. I need to check and see where the good price is for this. Then we'll sell the acetic acid. Then what my plan is... We're going to skip through to June, because what I want to do, and we're not going to get onto those olives, unfortunately, I thought I could try that, but it's taking me so long between episodes and each day to do all the various bits and bobs I need to do. I might just knock it on the end and say, right, I'll just skip through regardless. I won't worry about any of my productions or selling anything. We'll just skip through. But, um, oh, I've gone past it. Too busy talking. There we go. Best price is extended selling station. What's that one? Is that the one we did for the oil? Uh, uh, tag place. Where's that? Where's that on my map? It looks like it might be. Okay, we'll take it down there. Then we'll go and get the acetic acid and we'll um, sort that out. Let's t untag that. Yeah, so I want to skip through to June, because one thing I do want to try and do before we finish and before we head off is actually harvest our own fields. I've only done one small field. We've done loads of contract work for other people. We're back in, into the realms. All the baling contracts have popped up again, so the baling contracts are all there. There's a few weeding contracts, and there's a couple of fertilising contracts that could be done. No sowing contracts. If I'd known those pop up. If I, if I did get any, if I had any herbicide contracts or sowing contracts, I would absolutely be doing those and showing those. So, um, yeah, that's kind of... Now, I've got to make a choice as well. I'm now thinking, I bought, I, I'm like a magpie. With the used vehicle market, when that big old John Deere came out, and had I been carrying on doing this Let's Play, I, you know, of course I would have been. I mean, one episode, what now, 36? We're a fair way in anyway. And I think, really, in the amount of episodes I've done, I've achieved enough, I think. I've done what I needed to do. We've set up a farm, we've established it. You know, I've talked about that in previous episodes. I'm not going over all that all again. But we've, we've done all right. I'm really happy. We arrived here on foot with a bag. And I think we've done all right. So, anyway, yeah. That being said, I've got to decide what I'm going to leave with. I was talking about maybe buying myself a pickup. My Land Rover never came when we left Western Wilds, that never got through customs, we never got that back which is, you know, it is what it is so I might buy a North American spec Defender or I might buy a pickup to go to Silverham but the question is what do I take with me? oh, the other thing I was going to say as well was compost my word you know I said in the last episode we were at 400 odd thousand litres of compost wood chips are still processed, now I haven't sold any pellets today um, we've still got just under a million litres of wood chips in there from the last time we did all the wood chipping. Hot pellets, uh, we sold those. Did I show a clip of me selling those? Maybe the price went up to 3,800. On hard mode, 3,800 for 1,000 litres. So that was well worth doing. Um, that's all running down as well. I've got another 37,000 litres of digest that I could bring down. Uh, methane, okay, I could be selling that too. Straw silage, we're down to our last 123,000 litres. But silage produced at the fermenter, we're up to 1.1 or nearly 1.2 million litres. But down here, we have got 
595,000 litres of compost. Now, you, if you think back to when we had that really good compost price, man, <laughs> unfortunately, the price of over compost is about 100 and something. I'd still do all right. I'd make a bit of money, but not, you know, not like I, I, I could hold on to that and do a lot better, obviously. But that's, that's kind of where we're at. So I want to harvest my own fields. I'm thinking about buying a, a harvester. I kept talking. Whoa! That was close. I could have lost the back end then. Um, I wanted to get one of the old the Colossus harvesters. I'm not going to lie. This is just... I've said this enough times. I've loved this. It's run so well. And you know, the harvest work I've done, the contract work I've done... We did have a new Holland T560, I think it was, pop up in the used vehicle market for a hundred grand. I nearly bought it, and I thought, no, I'm, I'm happy with that. I really am. And this is where I find out I can't actually get this seed to cast it down. This is going to be interesting. Sorry about the crop. I do apologise. Try and spin it out. There we go. I'm assuming I just pull up next to it here. There we go. I can't remember what capacity. This trailer comes with the seeds acid thing, and I think you have the ability to go up to 150,000 litres, or I think of a different one. I did look at a few different tankers. I was trying to find one that did methane and acetic acid, and there wasn't one that did both. So I had to get a separate methane trailer to acetic acid, and I think acetic acid I'm going to have to sell down Acme. Wasn't that what I got select? Pretty sure it is. So I've got another just under 50,000 litres that I can get from there. That'll be the seed acid dealt with. Sheep, still chugging away. We're not quite there yet with the cows reproducing, but we, we won't be far off. When we get to June, they might have done. So that'll be pretty much all of our animals will have doubled. We'll have doubled all of our livestock. We get. It's not going to be anywhere near what I thought it was going to be, but like I say, that that thousand for a thousand liters dream was never going to happen. It just, it's just not there. Unfortunately, it was false advertising. They promised me that price. It's all right. So yeah, it feels really weird today, actually. Um, unlike other Let's Plays I've done, because normally I kind of get to the end to finish off my Let's Play, even though if a new map comes out, something comes out that I want to move on to. Um, but it's sort of fairly standard. And I, I'm not going to hide that. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to hide the fact. Um, I'm, I'm buzzing about the new stuff coming out. I'm, I've said that in previous episodes. It's all right, 31 grand. We've got another 50,000 litres up in another 30, 60 grand with this acetic acid. So I'm just going to, we're just going to get on with it now. I arrived there, we stayed there at the little motel. I borrowed a bike from the guy at the bank. So that's, the, that's how we started off. Then I bought my own bike. I started with a bike and that's all. Cycling backwards and forwards to do contract work. Didn't have any of my own stuff. Borrowing equipment all the time until we bought our first few tractors and got ourselves going we were able to do contract work ourselves then and not have to keep using other people's equipment unless it was things like sugar beet or stuff that required specialist equipment this was clear plots there was nothing here actually I know what I could do as well while we're here I know I've been doing it every episode I've been trying to make sure I keep up with it um, let's get rid of another hundred grand off potentially before we go I'll pay it off completely or I mean that's one way of moving on would be to go to our new map 200 grand in debt so that's not even I arrive with nothing and end up with this I've done it before um, was it Greenwich Valley I was helping the family out of debt well not yeah we could do that I'm just thinking of all different ideas things we can do I've got a load more um, corn oil that needs to be sold that needs to be bought over here so I'll probably bring that over and we'll sell that 
And like I say, that's the acetic acid dealt with now. That's been building up and building up since I first put that acetic acid facility in. I haven't sold any of it, so that's been going for ages. So if we look now up at our growth, we're in April. We need to get through May and into June. We've got wheat and barley fields that should be ready to harvest in June, and we can crack on with it. Do I do it with what I've got, or do I buy a big harvester? Do I finish off on a real bang with a big old... So I'll have a load more equipment and a brand new harvester. I might do, you know. It's not quite rags to riches, but you know, it's not far off. And yeah, finish it. I think that would be the way to do it. Finish on our on harvesting our own fields. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I will see you probably in June now. I might do a couple of contracts here and there. I did a fertilising one. Did I put that up as well? I'm trying to think if I did. Um, but again, because I'm, a, I'm obsessed with doing contracts, I've got to shake that habit. Because I've got my own gear now, we're making money on our own stuff. But when the contracts come up, I'm very much, oh, must do contracts, must do contracts. But then when I start trying to clear the contract list, it's, it's, I'm spending hours and hours and hours doing it. If we come down to, what screen do we want? What are we on to now? Time played, 190. That's not too bad, 190 hours. But that's a lot less than when we did um, Western Wilds. We were... I mean, to be fair, I put in so many hours off camera doing the logging and stuff on that. And I've put quite a few hours in on this, but I have to say, for 37 episodes, I thought I'd done... Oh, no, we did, didn't we? Because we had to, we had to redo it, didn't we? I've, I've just remembered we did the same thing, didn't we? So it's more hours than that, isn't it? Because we had to, so we had to reset. I recall now. So we've got 20,000 litres, or was it 19 in there at the moment? 19,000 litres in there. Yeah. Some more in there, but we're down to our last... Five or six thousand litres of corn in the uh, oil facility. So that's going to run out soon. So a lot of our productions, we are running out. They were all, like, Most of them were finite resources. It was just what I had. And they've got us through the winter. They've got us through to now. And when we roll around, if I was, if I was staying on here for another year, and we rolled around into harvest season again, and I was doing contract work for the people, I'd do the same thing again. We'd do the harvesting. Any crops left over would then be disseminated out around all of the various different productions I've got and we'll roll around again get ourselves through the winter if we go into the spring and you know the process continues circle of life so yeah, I'm hoping as well by June that we'll have um, double the cows as well that'll be called through double those we made it to June and the two of our three fields are ready to harvest so I'm going to get it done I'm going to send one harvester up to our small field up the top of the map and I'm going to buy a second I'm going to get a, even if I just use it for this harvest doesn't matter we're up to 1,793,000 I set all of the wood pellets rather than delivering them myself set them to just sell I took a bit of a hit on the price but it doesn't matter they're set to sell I've run out of uh, everything up at the fermenting silo is all processed that's all run out I did top up the biogas plant that's been done. The acetic acid production, we've got 162,000 litres of compost. Compost prices started to rise, not massively, but I'm going to set that to selling. And I'm going to do the same down here, because I am curious, electric charged methane. How has that run out? We're not producing anymore. That could be why. Uh, but diesel production here, we ended up with, um, as it was just there, 67,000 litres of diesel. I haven't sold any of that, but what more importantly, compost, 656,292. I'm going to set that to selling as well, because why not? Uh, we have got uh, hops to sell, which we're going to do that in just a moment. I just want to maximise my profit before we buy another harvester, but we're going to get it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we've got a ton of peppers, so another pallet there. We've got a load on the trailer here that need to be sold. We've got a ton of eggs. Um, luckily, I used all of the wheat I had left. I used all of the sorghum, they did take the sorghum, I used all of the sorghum, I just put the last bit of sorghum in, last 3,000 litres just now, we're into June, we've got wheat and barley to harvest, so the chickens will be absolutely fine moving forward, the sheep are doing great, we've got milk galore, they're all producing milk all over the place, sheep's milk's great, that can all go up and that can go into the to making sheep's cheese, we've got four pallets of sheep cheese up there, we've got a ton of honey up there, Everything's going great. So I'm going to do the hops first. Uh, I did 
pre-order and it has been delivered my north american spec land rover i did order one it has arrived i'm going to be using that to head off at the end of this episode we will be heading off so what we'll do is we'll get the hops done first when we click over the hour i think um our all of that compost should sell which should make us a big old chunk of change uh, the cow's milk is almost full up there. I've just topped them up with their feed as well. They're all good to go. The watermelon has been set to sell for quite a while now. I haven't been delivering those. Frey Farms just collect automatically. Hot pellets, 24,000 litres. I haven't checked the price on these. We're just going to kind of clear the decks, really. Corn over at the oil factory. We ran out of that. That's all gone. That's all been distributed, sold. Uh, that's run out. What else am I thinking of? Yeah, the wood chips up at the refinery have all run out as well. So yeah, a lot of the productions are done for the time being. I actually haven't checked to see. I think it might be some harvesting contracts. We've got a weeding, harvesting, a fertilising, a load of baling. But I've got my own harvesting to do, so we're going to crack on with that. That's what I want to do to finish up. I want to harvest our, my field, our fields that we saved up to get. Am I going to take any of this money with me? Maybe. Um, so I'm definitely taking... I'm going to take my new Land Rover. I'm going to get myself a trailer. And I'm taking the John Deere. Because I bought it. I haven't really used it. I might use it for taking a trailer out to the field. I've not decided yet. But, yeah, I haven't used it. Did I start saying earlier about that, the Magpie thing? That the prices were coming up. And I was like, oh, I, I want to get that. And that's a fantastic price. I'll buy that and then didn't get a chance to use them so I reckon once all of that compost sells at the hour which it should do shouldn't it we should clear two mil two million I thought it was pretty impressive well I was impressed with the fact we hit a million whoa what did we hit we hit something so we're going to grab the trailer, we're going to grab, well, well, I'll show you, I was going to buy the Colossus, anyway, I was thinking to take that with me, but then that involves head of trailers and I can't take everything. I suppose I could have it shipped, I could get a transport company to ship some of my stuff. It's not something I do very often, I kind of spend all this time building up all this equipment and all this gear, then move somewhere new and then start with nothing again. So I'm wondering whether or not it might be a bad idea, I mean, look at it all. Let's head across. We'll use the lorry and the regular trailer. I don't know how much wheat we're going to get, barley we're going to get, but whatever we get, it's ours. So, around the corner. It's lovely. I really like it. Flame orange and carbon. Oh! <laughs> anyway, right. So, harvested then. As I said, we're going to go for the Beastie, the Colossus. It's not too expensive either. Well, the base model anyway. Colossus, Colossus unrealistic. What's the difference? 15,000 litre or 72,000? I mean, if we're going to go out with a bang, let's go out with a bang, shall we? Oh, that's 19,000. To be fair... Even if you went Colossus Unrealistic, Colossus Large, Colossus Large Unrealistic, that wasn't on the original, was it? That's been a part of the update. 153,300. That's, um, <clears throat> that's a bit bonkers, isn't it? Shall I just go with that? I don't want to go, <laughs> I don't want to go too mad. Uh, Will Brand will leave with that. Will set up standard wide tyres. US, we go US spec or tracks. I'm going to go tracks. Uh, beacons, halogen or LEDs. LEDs. Uh, window tint leave is main colour. So this was where... Is it that I was going to go for? I think that. Then design colour. Gunmetal carbon fibre. Or do it... Do I do it the other way around? Maybe that carbon fibre. And design colour that. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's gorgeous. The frame. <laughs> Do 
Was it that colour? Oh no. Uh, maybe that carbon fibre as well. Lovely. Rims will leave as they are. Licence plate. No, that's for the North American spec landy. Uh, we'll go with no licence plate. Thank you. 328 grand. That's crazy. Let's buy it. That's awesome. Now, as far as header goes then, to go with this, uh, we want to get the header that comes with it. This will allow us to harvest at 10 miles an hour. I was reliably informed, formed, was it Barris that messaged me to say to somebody else? Uh, that, whilst that will allow you, we've got the Titan header, the Titan Draper. We'll go with that because it's got it's already got the header trailer. These will go at 10 miles an hour. If you use these and other harvesters, it will allow you to harvest at 10 miles an hour. So it's the actual header that allows it, not the harvester specifically. So I think, yeah, we'll go with that. Main colour. Design colour. Carbon. And rim colour we'll leave as is. Let's buy that. Oh, I missed us go past the hour. Even buying all of that. We're still at 1,820,000, so we did clear 2 million. All that compost selling, bearing in mind that was 88 grand, that was 328 grand. Oh, I can't believe it. I was in there doing that when that happened. That's mad. I'm going to just double check on here then. Make sure it's all gone. Compost zero, it all went. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> oh man. I really never would have thought when we started out that we'd end up doing something like this with something like this. So I was thinking, you know, because I've done it, bought it, you know, do I take this with me to Silver Run? Or is there not going to be enough? initial farm work. I suppose I could mothball it. We could put it in storage. Uh, beacons, it's for those. We could put it in storage, so if we do want it at some point, we could then have it delivered. Because I've worked hard to get to this point, to get this. Oh, that was the thing I was going to do. Seeing as we're where we are, and I didn't think the compost price would come back up again. And it was only sitting about 400, but with the amount we had, or 450, the amount we had, it absolutely paid out, which was spot on. Let's move over onto the curb a little bit because he's not going to like that. There we go. I think we're finishing on a high. Like I say, go out with a bang, why not? So field 11's ready, field 10's not quite there yet, but that's alright. We'll swing over this side. Plus, if I want it, we've got all the straw as well, so I can get the fermenter going again and other bits and bobs if I want to. Let's do that. Let's open it up. Turn the beacons off. Fold that. So I want the header to the real garden down. There we go, put the up a little bit. Oh man. So cool. Oh actually I do need to double check though. Enable straw sloth. Done. That's cool. Turn it off. Let's do it. <laughs> and then we'll get the other harvester up on the smaller fields. So this one was wheat. I think I did barley on the top field, didn't I? And I did keep 11 and uh, 10 separate, just by a little bit of a boundary. That'll, that'll probably be ready to harvest hmm, tomorrow, maybe, or the day after, but... We won't get onto that. Oh, this is 
I recall. It's not going to take long at all, but we should get a fair bit of this. When I arrived, I was wearing a baseball cap, farm sim t-shirt, I've gone full native. I said that before when I changed all my gear. When I turn up a silver and I'll be wearing a wetsuit. Wetsuit flippers. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. I'm going to get to the road, possibly. Uh, let's go to... No, not that one. Press the same thing again. What am I missing here? Oh, there we go. Let's pay off the loan. So we will own Hilltop Farm as well, before we go. All paid off. We don't own the bank or anybody anything. We've still got 1.6 million. The loan's completely paid off. Hilltop Farm is now officially ours before we leave. we done a good thing. I think we've left Griffin, Indiana in better shape than when we found it. Not the town itself. The town itself, there's nothing wrong with the town itself, but we've added to it. Let's just say, not necessarily improved it, but we've added to it with commerce and buildings and all that kind of stuff. We'll get working on this in just a moment. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the John Deere, even if it's just to bring a trailer over to unload into, I'm going to use the John Deere. And uh, we'll get the other half strap and do the other fields as well. I'm going to get both our fields that are ready to harvest. Field 10 just there isn't quite ready yet, but it will be. Nearly there. Let's do that. And that. The other one's only got a full grain tank. The chickens will never have to worry again. running quite low on fuel on this, but I'm going to say that, we're under half a tank. We should be absolutely fine. So, wait off the other one, barley off this one. I want to get both of these done before we finish. We'll, um... No, I won't get to, to the straw in this episode, but I would, I would have collected the straw and yeah, carried on, I guess. That would have given us some more stuff we could be doing. I'm so glad we paid off the farm. I wasn't sure where we were going to. I was looking at the um, the prices, actually. That was what I was looking at. What screen was it? Uh, not that one. Where are we? Here we go. Uh, if we go across to June, uh, halfway down it says sold products, 457,291. So part of that was the hops that we sold, the hop pellets. But the rest of that was all the profit from, um, from selling the compost. A shrewd move. It was a good idea leaving all as long as it did.
So I'll get the John Deere with the regular trailer down to unload the other one. Although if that's full, that'd be 76,000 litres and the trailer only takes 52, but that's fine. We can let it, get it, let it get going again. And um, and then we'll get the lorry up here to unload this one. We could probably better off doing it the other way around, actually, thinking about it. But then to be fair, the other trailer only holds 50... It's about the same thing, isn't it? About 52, 53 odds, isn't it? Right? There you go, full grain tank. I never did anything with the other side of the little creek there, did I? The, the washout in the end. I'm glad I put the olive grove in the other on the other side, um, where we cut the trees to the wood chipping. I just felt that was kind of right to do something on there. I probably could have done something on here because it's on poplars or something like that, I suppose. It was, um, kind of ran out of oomph, ran out of oomph, ran out of time. Get a circuit done. We'll get a work going on here as well. Gee, this is yielding really well. Actually far higher. I mean, too far. I did everything on it. It was double fertilised. It was, was it ploughed and it was mulched and it was, everything was done. Rolled and all that good stuff. It's 11.33, both harvests are done. We've got 35,110 litres of barley off our small field. I've still got, we've delivered 52,000 litres of wheat off of field 11, which I've already put into here. And then I bought the harvester back over. I suppose I could have left it over there considering field 10 will be ready next. I have been assured by the mayor that they're gonna get a tenant farmer in to run the farm until we get a buyer which is great, it means it won't sit, the animals will all be still let, looked after. Like I said, they're all still producing stuff. The cows are one month off of um, reproducing. I had this problem with this trailer, and I don't know why. I've repaired it, but when I'm reversing it, it seems to go crampwise for some reason. Not always. Let's put that away. Move that out. So we've got our, our big Massey, 4900. Our smaller Massey, the front loader forks and stuff, and that worked brilliantly. I bought recently. Um, we've got the big old Agco Fent Challenger. The big John Deere. We've got the little... Um, Grape harvesting, olive harvesting, Landini up on the field as well. Two harvesters now. I might change the colour scheme on this actually. I don't know whether to do the bottom section green as well. So it's more green than carbon. I mean, it looks very cool, but it's incredibly dark. It doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't take the light very well. So disconnect, I did. So yeah, 52,000 litres already delivered, another 50. So 102,000 litres of wheat. Work it under there, just about. I'm going to need another shelter, probably. Can I fit there? Swing around a little bit. That's better. Put that in. I never actually then, after buying this from Mr. Webb, 120E, we never went for a telehandler, we never went for a, a bigger wheel load or anything, and that what did the job. All the way through did the job. And obviously if we needed a bit higher reach, the trailers I'll be using, it would work no problem at all. But I, yeah, I guess maybe we could have gone for something else, but we just didn't really need to. 
we've got a few bits of equipment we bought and didn't use very much but hey we've all done it you buy something because you think it looks good or you want it for some particular reason not necessarily because you need it or not necessarily because you're going to use it very much but you just think you know what I want it uh, let's close that so this will need a home <laughs> sure where it's going to go we can like so we can get it mothballed put it in storage we might bring it with us if we need it we can always we can always call for it it will come the homing harvester wow next job before we leave i've port a port i've port um a low loader it's not a Conventional is quite wide actually, it's a chunky big boy. Um, more wide than it is long, but it will take a huge harvester and stuff. So I thought, you know what? It'll um it will take the John Deere. We are in a right-hand drive vehicle. Just because I know it's a North American spec, but I wanted to feel at home. So I had it converted. So yeah, we've got this this big old brute. What I'll do is we'll go up around here, we'll swing around so we're facing the right way. And that's assuming, of course, the Land Rover will pull it. I think once we get it rolling, we should be all right. Shouldn't we? Oh, I've got so much good stuff. I don't want to leave anything behind. I want to take the whole farm with me, just as it is, all the equipment. Uh, we want to go. I'm trying to remember now. That, that, and that. Drop the ramps. So. Before we leave, let's go to the drone. So our main farm, with our hop garden, our watermelon, our storage, and our shed, the chemistry shed, production shed that worked really well, the acetic acid. We've got our chickens, we've already kind of looked at the pepper greenhouse, the sheep. And if we move from there, we've got our straw processing with the cell point just over there we put in. We've got our oil processing plant that went in here. Not straight, but it did go in. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, we've got Cheryl's carpentry. Well, that was, yeah, that was um, Gaz's straw hats. Cheryl's carpentry for the wood pellets. They're still being produced. Oh, that's the four that I haven't sold, I guess. Um, that went in, the sell point for eggs went in. Obviously all the stuff from Mr. Webbs. Never did buy that excavator. Didn't really have a need for it at any point. But we could have done. And then heading up. Hilltop Farm that we now own, we've paid for. We paid off the bank loan. So Hilltop Farm. Oh yeah, that was, I put in another... I didn't show it, did I? I put in another beehive. Forgot to show that. Honey still being produced, no problem at all. We've got our sheep's cheese. We've got, I think, four pallets of that there. A little Landini tucked away in here. All our grass equipment. The olive grove that we put in. That's all up here. We've actually done a fair lot, haven't we? A fair, fair more than I thought we had. Um, the cows, like I say, one month off reproducing. They're nearly there. The pigs did reproduce. They're all doing well. We've got a refinery, the biogas plant. I'm very happy and proud of what we achieved. I think it's worked really, really well. So what's left for me to do now is load up. And we'll head off the way we came. This time, not on foot. This time, not with just a bag in our hand and staying at a local motel. A lot of people ask me why I didn't improve the house. Didn't need to. It's just somewhere to sleep. I was doing contract work and working all the rest of the hours. I didn't really spend a lot of time there, in all honesty. So, what we'll do... Now, again, I'm going to take this because I bought it. It's got a high horsepower. It was 200 grand. If I end up selling it when we get where we're going, or I end up not taking it, I might mothball this as well. But we'll take it with us just in case. Like I say, I wish I could take everything. I, I was seriously considering taking the smaller harvester because, like I said, I absolutely adored that thing. That just ran brilliantly. I was so happy with it. 
Put that on there. Strap that down. I think we'll be alright. I'll double strap it just to make certain. There we go. Start that up and then go like that. Can the can the landy do it? We've got a little bit of wheel spin. If I can just get it rolling, we'll be alright. So we're off to pastures new, new challenges, new adventures, and they are going to be new adventures. There's going to be a whole new map to explore, loads of new stuff to try out. I know it spanned quite a while actual time-wise, like I say, 37 episodes, and um, it seems like such a long time ago, I'm just going to go to the curb here, so I'll try to go past, that we walked in past the Griffin sign, and like I say, we borrowed the bike from the, from the bank. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it, when you think about it? I suppose there was three farms, they came, didn't they, and we were still the watermelon and collecting was, were. We leave richer, not just monetarily, but through experience. We're getting deep now. <laughs> and this is how we leave. I hope you enjoyed the series. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free, and if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.